Hi dear friends, it's so good to meet you all. Wishing you all a very healthy, happy, harmonious new year. A brand new year is unfolding itself and I'm so waiting to celebrate each and every moment of this year. This year I have decided I'm going to celebrate me. The me in me and the me in we. Yes, dear friends, I ask myself these questions. What defines me? And after pondering for some time, a whole list opened up, some of which I'm going to share with you. This is, of course, other than my professional persona of being a holistic wellness practitioner, a homeopath, a aromatherapist, a nutritionist, etc., etc., which all of you are well versed with. But behind the obvious is hiding those experiences that shaped me, enhanced me, taught me, molded me, defined me. These are the experiences and the learnings from them which I bring to the table when I come to the clinic or when I speak to you or for that matter in all my dealings with the world. These are the learnings I derive as a woman growing up in a patriarchal society. These are the learnings I derive as a mother, learning through the endless lunch boxes that are packed with innovation to balance health and taste so that your loved one eats it. The learning of going on a roller coaster ride of temper tantrums and terrible twos to teen tantrums because of the hormones and then managing the young adults. The different fast moving pace in which their life is going. Letting them fly off to universities and wishing the best for them. Managing that little sense of longing that cringes at your heart. Yes, dear friends, I learned through it. Of being a daughter. First being cared for by the mother and then being a caregiver. And that too from a far away country. It feels terrible sometimes when you can't be close to your aging mom. But you have made a decision to be this immigrant, uprooting yourself from a place that you knew and rerouting yourself in a place which was totally new. Managing your children and your aging parents, a tightrope walk of being a nature lover, that has taught me hugging trees and digging in soils to see plants grow. From there to becoming an urban farmer. And then to adopting a four-legged furry child. Which means in the middle of the night you're down because your furry child wants to pee. And there are many such experiences that you go through. And as your nature love grows, turning a vegan from being a carnivore to a vegan is a quantum jump, isn't it? To be a LGBTQ ally, to be a free spirit, to love life and living and every creature that is in this world. All this and many more are the learnings that have shaped me. What has shaped you? What defines you? I really want to know. Below this post, please do put your learnings, those things that define you, those things that touch your heart. I really want to know because going forward, we are going to share a give and a take so that together we become a better me, a better you and a better we. Won't that be beautiful? Who knows? What you share might bring a smile to a sad face. Give a frustrated mom a lunchbox idea for a picky eater. Help a mom come up with home remedies to help her sneezy child. Or better still, tell a mom who is becoming an empty nester, it's okay. They fly and they come back right again. Or hold the hand of a daughter whose aging mother is getting senile. Lots we can learn from each other. Please. Let's go on this treasure hunt to discover the knowledge nuggets that all of us have gained as we are going through life's experiences. I'm looking forward. 
don't keep me waiting until then let's say a bye and a namaste thank you